Amanda. So I hear you have something very cool to show us that looks like a car muffler to me, but it is not a car muffler, is it, that right? It is not a car muffler. Okay. It is a fermentation vessel used in the early 1940s to grow penicillin. The shape is idealized to grow the mold that penicillin is extracted from. Oh, okay, so okay. It, it had to be the right ratio of growth medium, mm -hmm. liquid, and air. Oh, so okay. that, okay. and also it takes a lot of mold to grow penicillin. Mm -hmm. So um, the folks at Oxford who were growing this penicillin mold in the early 40s needed to be able to stack a whole room of these yeah. would only come up with a few milligrams. Another reason this is so special is it marks an important but short phase in the okay. history of penicillin. So these were used once they figured out that penicillin had effects against bacteria, mm -hmm. but before they figured out um, how much people needed to cure a bacterial infection, okay. and hadn't quite figured out how to mass produce it. A guy named Norman Heatley came up with this shape. Yeah. Um, and it's especially near and dear to my heart as a historian of nursing because it's based on a bedpan. Yes! So, right. Yeah, so Heatley is trying all sorts of different vessels to try to maximize the growth of penicillin so right. they could start testing it in people. It turned out to be the, 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 best, the best ratio. Oh. And, but the, the problem was the hospital needed its bedpans. Oh, yeah. So he That's came up with a shape that a commercial pottery could easily make. Thank you for coming by and sharing such yeah. cool stuff with us. Thanks for having me. All right.